We're using 50 feet of dual blue climbing rope to tie down a filing cabinet. Hook my line through my first anchor point. I'm going to do a spelled bow line by turning a loop. I'm going to turn that again and land it right onto my working end. I'm going to poke that rope through that window there. And then I'm going to feed my free end through that loop and then let it spill into a bow line. Okay, I'm going to leave myself some slack here so I can pull it in later. All right, here's my standing end. Here's my working end. I'm going to throw this into the corner of the truck. Now I'm just going to form a bite. I'm going to take my working end and I'm going to do a complete coil going clockwise around that bite. I'm going to pop that coil off, turn it 180 degrees counterclockwise, and then pop the coil back on. Now I need to take this bite and anchor it into my standing end. That's where I pull in my slack. I'm going to form another bite, poke my fingers through, wrap them around to a lark's head. There we go. And then poke that bite through that lark's head. Tighten everything up. Okay, I already see that I have too long of a loop right here, so I'm going to bottom out when I pull in my tension. So I'm just going to shorten that loop by pulling that slack out of this side. Okay. We still want to leave a little bit of a window there so that I can release the tension later on. But here we go. I'm going to pull in my tightness, my tension. Still get to keep it. Pull, get to keep it. Pull, get to keep it. I'm going to bottom this thing out, or at least I'm going to try by using a marlin spike hitch. Just like this build bowline, I'm going to do a twist to make a loop, take that same twist, go again, go on top of the standing end, poke my extension through, and I'm going to pull everything tight. All right, that's plenty tight. I'm going to finish this off with a couple half hitches. just so that I can make sure this doesn't go anywhere. Now this has always done me well. To release it, I'm going to undo my half hitches. Now I'm going to take the end that I was pulling on and I'm going to thread a bite of it through this window right here. Then I'm just going to pull it 90 degrees away from the knot. There we go. Get a little room to breathe, and now we're loose. So here's a typical setup. I have my loop anchored in with a lark's head on my standing end, and then here's the working end that I pull to keep all my tension. Now I want to show you a couple things, so I'm going to replace this lark's head with a carabiner that I tied in. So in the first part of this video, I showed you taking a bite, and then you take a clockwise coil around the bite, pop it off, 180 degrees counterclockwise, and then lock it up top. Now when I pull on my tension, I get to keep everything, and my working end is outside of this loop right here. Now, if I were to do the same direction, then I would end up with the working end inside that loop. Let me show you. So here's my bite. Clockwise around the bite, I pull it off. Clockwise turn, and then pop it back on. Lock it in up top. When I pull it, I still get to keep my tension, but now my rope is trapped inside this loop. And so you just want to make sure, whichever way you go, you just do the opposite for the next part. So here we go, put in my bite. This time I'm going to do a counterclockwise coil. I'm going to pop it off, turn it clockwise, and then pop it back on. And you can see it's outside. It's not trapped inside here. All right, folks, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Help me build my channel. I'm already secured into both my anchor points, so I'm going to start by pulling in a bite in my standing end. I'm going to take my working end, and I'm going to do a clockwise coil around that bite. I'm going to pop it off, turn it counterclockwise, 180 degrees, and pop it back on. Now I just need to anchor this loop into this standing end. And so you can do a variety of things. For this one, I'm just going to do a couple clockwise coils or turns and now I can pull everything and it's going to stay tight as I pull in the tension.
okay? To undo the tension, I just pull this cord through this loop right here, or through this window, and I pull it 90 degrees away from the knot. There we go.